As the clock ticked down the minutes to midnight, December 31st, René Angelil, husband of Celine Dion, the mastermind behind the megastar, crept quietly on stage. It was Celine's last concert, an emotional swan song. She's not stopping because she doesn't like doing it. It's because we want to live something else. This something else, this desire for time together, time for family and friends, is not new. Three years ago, she told me, the most important it, thing for you today most is? The important thing for me today is to be with Rene. But Rene's bout with cancer. He's in remission now. Was it a wake up call? And she has said that she is stepping down from the spotlight ostensibly for family and friends, but really for Rene's sake. To spend more time with Rene, she has said. In all honesty, is it largely due to your health that she is doing this? Not really, because we had decided before that to, uh, to take a long break. Was the superstar worried about being overexposed, that fans would tire of her? Yes. Last year, that was a factor. This year, though, it's, we're not even thinking of that. We we're, want to be closer with our family and friends. To that end, Dion's family rushed the stage to greet the new year and usher in the next chapter of her life. Celine Dion, homemaker. First, we have to stop traveling. That's what we're doing. And then second, you have to do what? Take some time for ourselves to try and, uh, you know, and make a baby. That's our, our, our biggest wish, by the way. This desire to have a baby is also not new. Celine and you have been talking about trying to have a child for quite some time. Will your illness and the impact of the treatment have be a factor in any of this? You know, when you go through uh, chemotherapy, there's a chance that uh, you, uh, you know, that you won't be able to to have a baby. So we we uh, we had something done before to secure that in case. It doesn't happen uh, naturally. And as if to sanctify this hope to procreate, they renewed their wedding vows. A lavish extravaganza in Las Vegas, a Middle Eastern theme to reflect Angelil's Lebanese and Syrian roots. But whose idea was that? Celine's actually. Yeah. She knows that I, uh, you know, I love Las Vegas. And so, after 20 years of the fast life, they said au revoir to an adoring hometown crowd. See you soon. Who would have thought that when that 12-year-old walked into your office so many years ago, who would have thought that she would be this successful today? Would you ever contemplate that? No. In your wildest dreams? No.